Freeze. That's cold. <laughs>so guys here we are we are doing another maintenance video it's project turbo on his mark 6 golf 14 tsi a little bit of an upgrade as we mentioned in our previous video we're going to be doing and the guys that are here doing it with us is obviously turbo himself same turbs and we have h the camera boy so these are the boys obviously no uh, dodger az is obviously not around but it's something that we can do ourselves so H is going to be the camera boy, Turbo is going to be working on his car and what he's doing is... Calipers, I'm going to paint my calipers. Okay, what colour? I'm going to go for red, because that's the common colour. It'll go nice with the white as well. Okay, why, why red though? Because... Uh, I don't know what you guys have probably commented uh, in the comments for the last video, but um, he's obviously made his decision and he wants to do red. Now, why red? Because there was a few different options, like yellow, blue. Yeah, I wanted to do yellow because that's different for the ones where you've done yellow. But I just thought, you know what, just go for red. That's the safe option. Okay, so we're going safe option. We are gonna be getting Turbo's car up on all four stands, getting these wheels and that off. And all we're gonna be doing is sanding these calipers down. And how are you gonna be doing this paintwork? I'm gonna use a brush. Paintbrush. and some and some caliper paint. paint so we got some caliper paint from one of my previous cars which is that one right there that one the uh, classic e39 I've done the calipers red with that so I've still got some caliper paint so I don't know if turbos actually made a decision to go for red because I still have the paint and he doesn't want to spend any money or what it is I don't know but we're doing red and I would have thought red okay because his rear lights and stuff like that are red as well so um, yeah Let's check it out. H will be on the camera. Peace. The floor check it out we've got the stands all in their right positions here one there one there and the same on the other side as well the stands in the same position one here and one there so the car is more than secure obviously we want to check it before we do anything we don't want anything dodgy to happen and for it turbo is going to need a few tools one is my magic tool here which is actually for garden weeding. It's a pretty good tool because I don't need to break my back. I'm just gonna stand here and I'm gonna do whatever I can from here and then turbo with sanding paper, sanding machine, and also the other wire brush. With the wire brush, he's gonna be sanding this caliper down. It's quite rusty, so we need to have a good smooth finish. It's all about prep work. Whenever you're doing calipers, it's all about prep work. Make sure you prep properly, you get all the dust off, you get all the access, of this rust off, sand it as much as you can, very nice and flat. And then before you apply the paint, before we apply the paint, what we'll be doing is blowing it all away. Make sure there's no dust around anyway. And then we're gonna start applying the paint. So then guys, what we have here is kind of smooth. Obviously it's not gonna be 100% perfect. The only way it will be 100% perfect if you take the caliper off and give it to somebody to do a refurb or something on it. But obviously we just wanna apply some paint. So we just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Obviously from before it was to what it is now. 
and I think once we've blown this up a little bit, this is good to go, I think. Yeah. So well, guys, on the last one now. Not much to do left. Um, after this, uh, <laughs> yo guys, as you can see, I'm on the last one. Almost done. After this one, we're ready to paint all the calipers. Check them out. <laughs> so that's your front two calipers. And your driver's side rear. Oh, we got turbo on the passenger. Sure, which one blue, gold, or red? You know, hey, you've been talking the video as well. Where you can each? I feeling? personally, uh, them colors go red or even a blue. Yeah, but this is a really bright red, so I'm gonna go oh, for red. Boys. So we got a blue, we got a gold, and we got a red. Which one would you go for? I'd go gold straight off, I like gold. Now you can see, there's gold with a black wheel. So this is my beautiful 630, I've got gold on them. Yeah, and then if we come over here to my beautiful E39, we have red on there. And if you come to my X5M, which they come manufacture. Got a on there. So we've got a grey insert, diamond cut front. We've got a full, uh, I would say, shadow chrome um, M5 colour. And then with the, with the other one, we've got a full black wheel, uh, matte black with the gold. The only reason I went for gold for this is because I've got the badge on the back. M Sport M Performance badge, which was gold. I thought it's a bit of a slick thing. This car is a bit slick, so why not? So with his car, you can see you got you've got what um, red springs, red springs which yeah. you can't really tell anyway because you can't see them. But the lights on the car are red. So personally, for me on this car, I would probably go. Personally, for me on this car, I'd probably go red. That is the red that we have. You're happy with that, boys? Yeah, we've got yeah, three yeah. volts. Let's go for red. Is that so the red or blue? It's the red that he's going to go for. And obviously, he's going to go for red because he hasn't got no other colour here that he's going to actually like. Even if he wanted to go and pick a different colour, he probably wouldn't because turbo is turbo and he don't like to spend any money. So we got red here and that's what we're smacking on the car. Go for it then, boys. So first coat is going to be... Uh, stick, you gotta stick the first coat on. I ain't going down there, mate. I gotta back, back. So, stick your first coat on all the way around. Stick a second coat on, stick a third coat on, but we are gonna need a heat gun for this because we wanna make sure that we get in that paint into every single part of the caliper. So we're gonna need a heat gun to get on that and Turbo will show you how it's done. Peace. Moment of truth. Let's wait for it to dry. So, turbo. Yo. 
where we are. We're on the rear one now. Just gonna let that front one dry up. So after this one, we'll uh, have a look at that one. See how it looks. And then? We're gonna do the rest of them. Long. It'll be okay, worth but, it. Um, I noticed something over there. Just, uh, what? <laughs> huh? The mirror. Oh yeah. Uh, so I see you're uh, spending quite a lot of money. I'm on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> so when's it getting done? Um, I think that'll be for the next owner really. He does like a project back to souvenir, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, a, that's a sign from me to April. Alright. Oh, do you like it, yeah? Yeah, yeah it gives it that extra BHP in it. <laughs> How much BHP are we talking? Probably 10, 15. Yeah? 10, 15. <laughs> do you feel that horsepower? No. Oh, bro. bro. I'm keeping up with S3s in that, man. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I see, yeah. I blew AZ in that race. You know what I mean? Yeah, did you have the broken mirror then? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so I see, I see, I see. You see what I mean? See what I mean? Okay. Now I got exhaust in that dumb shit, do you know? Uh, they should do. Oh, yeah, anyways, yeah. Got my exhaust done, so that's an extra 100 bhp right there. <laughs> Just give him a little sneak peek. There you go. How are you liking the sound? Mm. It's gonna be a mix, mixed um, thoughts on that one still. Oh, I some see. people like it, some people don't. To me, it wasn't the sound I expected. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A bit of both, you know. Why is that? I like the sound. Yeah. The sound I originally wanted was um, like my neighbor got a GTI rep. The noise he has, I don't know what he has, but it sounds really nice. So I thought doing a black box and residue would sound like that, but louder. But it's a different tone. So it's a tone that I like. Something different than loud. Could that be because he's got some sort of remap or? Maybe, possibly, yeah. Or so he might have a custom exhaust, you don't know. Yeah, very true. It's your own tone, mate. It's your own tone. So good. So, let this caliper get finished. Get back to the next one. And we'll be back. Pipes. Breeze. That's cold. So, we got the rear passenger. Coat complete. Coat complete. First coat's gone done. Much better. Yeah? Yeah, man, like it, like it. What are you doing with the heat on? Just going over it, just to make sure it's properly dried. Then put the second coat on. And we'll take okay. it in there, all of them. This 
second one, yeah? Second one, yep. How's that first one looking? Did it look alright? Yeah, boy. Let it dry a little. Put it in the sun a little bit more. Good to go then. So, Turbo, where are we at? So, basically, now we're just doing the last one. The final coat for the last caliper. And after this, we're going to put the wheels back on and we're going to show you what it looks like with the wheels on. So, keep watching. Calipers are all done, all coloured. Check it out, what do you reckon? Makes a huge difference to the look of the car. A little thing makes a huge difference to the car. Especially these calipers. Before, no colour, nothing. Didn't stand out. Yeah, yeah, turbo, job done, yeah. Yeah, man. Smashed it. Well one people. Turbo's been on this mission. Uh, I actually let it, I left him to it, I got him safe and I thought, you know what, let the guy into it, he's better at doing all these paintings than me, so I just decided to uh, clean one of my babies, it's a bit dusty so I'll probably clean that, but yeah, it looks good man, we've done three coats, yeah? Yeah, three coats, three coats, red against the white, black inserts, not too bad, that's how we do it. So guys, for you guys out there, Swift smashed it, obviously, if you want to do something like that yourself and you haven't got the equipment just go down to Halfords you can buy some stands and jacks and stuff something like 30 or 40 quid something you can use later on in time as well but something that we've had for a little while and if you've got that sort of thing or even just the original jack in the car you can do one wheel at a time you don't have to do all four I got turbo set up so he can do all four of them rather than wasting time doing one at a time set him up and he got it done but that's how we do it the paint we've got this was ordered from eBay. So this is the paint that was used. Unfortunately, um, it's come from Halfords. Something that we did order from eBay, but it's come from Halfords. It's just a red caliper paint. Obviously, you can't really see it now because it's all smudged up and stuff. But it's Halfords, just about you can see it there. And it's a caliper paint in red. There is different sort of reds you can get. And now something that I've had before that I've just bought from a DIY shop is Hammerite paint. So you can use that as well. But the red in this is slightly different to that. So if you have a look, maybe you can see in the in the in the the different shade of the two. So it's slightly different. This is more shinier than that one. So if you want a dull finish, hammerite red. If you want a shiny finish, that's the one you have. And obviously, that's the shine that you get. That's how it looks. Bang on. So turbo, happy with that, yeah? So that's turbo's next project. So he's done a few already. So his next one after his exhaust system what is these calipers so he's done his calipers now i'm sure he's got a few other things planned but he's not too sure what he's doing yet so we'll check it out and see what you think if you what tell, tell us what you think so in the comment below when the video comes up just tell us what you think see if you like it or you don't uh, or you know if you have any questions of how to do it give us a shout i'm sure turbo can help or one of the P T pw crews can help so make sure you're subscribing if you watch the video to the end please like and share as well uh, if you haven't done so and you ha are going to subscribe to stick in the comment to say who you are because PW family is growing and we'd just like to know who you are and where you're from thank you very much for watching peace peace, peace. peace. Mm-hmm.